Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video yesterday that Windows 11 is now becoming more generally available and basically showed you some ways in that video on how to get the operating system if you are running a supported Windows 10 machine that has and meets all the hardware and system requirements to upgrade for free to Windows 11. Now, as mentioned, Windows 11 is on a controlled rollout from Microsoft and not everybody is seeing the update, uh, the Windows 11 update feature update appear um, in the Windows update process on their current Windows 10 machines. And that's due to the controlled rollout, which I did go into detail in one or two videos I did post yesterday. Now, as mentioned, if you um, don't see the update, you can head over to Microsoft where they now have a couple of options, as I did mention, where you can um, d download and install Windows 11 without using the Windows Update option. But they do say, yeah, we recommend that you wait until you are notified through Windows Update that the upgrade is ready for your PC. Now, the next best option, they say, if you're not willing to wait, is this use, is using the Windows 11 Installation Assistant, which is the best option for installing Windows 11 on the device you're currently using. So if you're not prepared to wait, then they suggest use this option. Now, unfortunately, using the Windows 11 installation assistant for some users now due to user reports is causing um, the uh, update to fail. And basically, uh, you get in the error 0x800 7007F. Um, and at this stage, that error message which is preventing you from being able to upgrade to Windows 11 using the installation assistant tool. Um, not much is actually known too much about that new error that's popping up, that um, error uh, message. And there have been reports, though, that this could be due to Windows 10's user account control permission for the installer, which is the called the UAC for short. Or you don't have enough storage space on your device or... Um, there could be some driver conflicts. That's why Microsoft says that they recommend that you wait um, and are notified through Windows Update that the upgrade is ready for your PC. And one of those is due to the fact that they can just sort out the driver issues on your machine before getting the update. So um, that could be one of the issues that the installation assistant is not working for some users. Now, there are a couple of workarounds you can try if you are receiving the error 0x800707F. And basically the first is um, when you download the Windows Assistant, go to your download location and on the actual uh, Windows 11 Installation Assistant, right click it and run it as administrator. That could possibly help um, resolve that error message and then you will be able to upgrade and another one which is I would suggest um, you do all the time first of all if you have a problem with your PC is actually just to reboot your device and restart it and then you can resume the installation process and try again um, or if you seem to know or have an indication which driver could be causing the problems then you can obviously go over to the manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers um, manually as well. And then you have another option um, if you don't want to, if, if the installation assistant is giving you issues and preventing you from, um, uh, you get in the error preventing you from being able to upgrade, you can always go down and use the uh, Windows 11 disk image ISO. And basically, if you go before you begin, this will tell you exactly how to update using the ISO image file. So you can also try that out if the update assistant is not working for you. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.